hello my dear uh, students so in the previous class what we discussed it is about uh, the carbon source which is uh, essential for the media and uh, uh, how we can prepare the carbon source what are the examples of uh, carbon sources that we discussed and today's class is about uh, a nitrogen source what are the nitrogen source we are commonly used in the media uh, for the growth of cells myself dr shibu from the department of biotechnology sapi institute of advanced study let's move to the topic firstly in uh, any industrially useful microorganism uh, we need to uh, add nitrogen uh, as a source for the microbial cells to grow mm, of course uh, um, how the carbon source it is uh, essential for the cells to grow uh, similarly uh, the cells also require nitrogen for creating nitrogen bases uh, then uh, the formation of protein and their um, base preparation for that everything it is required of um, nitrogen okay so how we can able to add the nitrogen uh, uh, in the media is either in the form of uh, inorganic or organic we can inorganic nitrogen may be uh, supplied as ammonia gas or ammonium uh, salts or any nitrates we can use it ammonium neither you can use ammonium uh, gas or uh, ammonium salts or some nitrates in order to supply inorganic nitrogen uh, to the media ammonia Uh, has been uh, used uh, for uh, ph control um, and as a major source in the uh, major nitrogen source in a defined medium for the commercial production of human serum albumin by yeast cells okay so what it is mentioned uh, ammonia has been used as a ph control so it is having a dual role we can use ammonia to control the uh, ph inside the bioreactor as well as uh, you can use this ammonia as a major nitrogen a uh, source uh, for example the production of human serum albumin by yeast and ammonium salts such as uh, ammonium sulfate or uh, you can use ammonium nitrate or uh, it will uh, used for the for, to produce as acid condition as ammonium ion is utilized and the free acid will be liberated if, if the ammonium ions are utilized there is free acid will be liberated that also it is come to the uh, ph adjustment on the other hand when the nitrate is uh, normally uh, cause a uh, alkaline drift as they metabolize once this uh, nitrate it is come to the nitrates what it does happen in the case of you are using ammonium nitrate will create alkaline drift okay so if if in the case i am using a uh, ammonium nitrate uh, in the fermentation media which will uh, first cause cause an acid drift as the ammonium ion is utilized and the nitrate assimilation is uh, repressed then when the ammonium ions are completely exhausted when it is ammonium ions are all, uh, almost utilized uh, there is an alkaline drift short, uh, started with alkaline drifting acid drift is converted into an alkaline drift as a nitrate uh, is used as an alternate nitrogen source so ultimately the uh, cells which is having a, either it will uh, getting the nitrate or uh, nitrogen from ammonia or it from uh, a nitrate okay so here also the ph will be changed from the acidic to the base condition okay the ph adjustment is also there so if you are wisely preparing a media which ph you want you can able to uh, use the chemical to adjust the ph as, as well as uh, you can uh, use the same material for the nitrogen source also okay so detailed study or detailed research should be uh, needed uh, to form the nitrogen source to make a perfect composition of the nitrogen source that's what it is uh, mentioned next uh, you can uh, add this uh, nitrogen as an organic form so organic nitrogen uh, may be supplied in the form of uh, amino acid uh, protein or uh, uh, urea or in a complex uh, media as an yeast extract okay any one you can uh, add it to the uh, fermentation media as an organic nitrogen in many instances Uh, growth will be faster uh, with the supply of organic uh, nitrogen and uh, a few microorganism have an absolute requirement of an amino acid so the care should be taken when you are adding this uh, organic nitrogen because uh, sometime uh, it will leads to an instant growth with the faster rate of growth okay organic nitrogen will the will support the faster growth so the curve the growth curve will uh, will be uh, growing in a defined period and suddenly it will drop it if it is uh, Uh, all the uh, essential uh, requirement have been utilized the growth will be very fast okay so it should be tested out and the research should be carried out 
to set this organic nitrogen it might be thought that main uh, industrial need of pure amino acid would be in a deliberate addition to amino acid uh, that is requiring mutant used in an amino acid production in the case of amino acid production most of the industries what they are doing is they are using a, a pure amino acid instead of using a complex mixture of amino acid so even though that is very costly if you are using a, a complex mixture of amino acid it is very cheap so the pure amino acid uh, the pure amino acid is very costly because it needed some purification steps to purify the amino acid from the complex system okay so most of the industries are preferring with the uh, pure amino acid however amino acid are uh, more commonly uh, added as complex uh, organic nitrogen sources just uh, which are non homologous and uh, oh, sorry which are non homogeneous and uh, uh, which is uh, cheaper and readily available most of the industries uh, what they are doing is they are uh, using this uh, amino acid as a uh, complex organic nitrogen source okay which is what uh, cheaper compared with that a purified form of uh, amino acid and for example in the lysine production methionine and trionine are obtained from uh, soya bean hydroxylate okay um, uh, they will use this uh, soya bean hydroxylate uh, to attain to get the methionine and uh, trionine since it may it, it would be too expensive when, when we are using the pure amino acid it is very uh, expensive instead of that they can use a complex mixture of this amino acid in the case of uh, lysine production and uh, other uh, proteinaceous uh, nitrogen uh, common uh, serving uh, as a source of amino acid which is including uh, corn steep liquor uh, then soya meal uh, peanut meal uh, cotton seed meal and yeast extract okay yeast extracts also we can use as a, a nitrogen uh, source we can provide a nitrogen uh, source to the uh, media okay uh, so uh, this uh, uh, table that is uh, mentioning about the different uh, products and their main sources it is mentioned for example uh, best nitrogen source for uh, secondary metabolite in the case of benzene we can use corn steep liquor uh, peanut peanut granules for uh, bacitracin like that okay so hope you will understand with this nitrogen source and uh, uh, if you have any queries you can contact me so we'll see in the next class thank you